Hello everyone, welcome back to Heavy Rescue. Today we will be responding to a variety of calls here on the Goldcrest Valley map. Today we will be using this truck we recently picked up. This is a 2011 Ford F550 regular cab rollback. This will be our first day putting it to use. I've just received a call from an individual who's broken down on the side of the road. His single axle 8 foot utility trailer broke the axle and the wheel fell off. Let's hop here in the rollback and go give him a hand. I'm definitely excited to be back here with the Heavy Rescue series. Many of you guys really did enjoy the previous video with the series and I thought we'll be back here responding to a few more calls. It's already 8 a.m. and we uh, this is our third call of the day. Definitely going to be an overall busy day here for us. If you do end up enjoying today's video, please drop a like. It's much appreciated as it helps out with the YouTube algorithm. Now we do have a local police officer there helping out with traffic and uh, helping out in general, making sure uh, the customer gets taken care of. This 2011 F550 we recently picked up with just around 60,000 miles, quite a lot of miles, but for a tow truck this is pretty new. And I think it's going to be this uh, side street over here, and it is, uh, it's actually a little bit further up. So sometimes these uh, small town roads get mixed up a little bit, but here it is over here. So I think we'll just get pulled up right behind the trailer, and we'll go have a chat with the customer. But whoa, look at that, no axle, no wheel on it, wow. I'm very surprised he was even able to get it off to a side street, but at least he was able to do that. We'll get uh, parked right here, put the e-brake on, make sure we don't roll back, and let's go take look yeah this definitely looks to be a single axle eight uh, by four foot trailer look at that guys the axle is completely broken off along with the wheel I'm not sure where the wheel is all right sir we'll be taking care of you so what I will do is I will put a winch line and then we'll disconnect your truck but I will have to say he drives one pretty sweet OBS Ford really do like the regular cab dually wow I definitely want to get behind the wheel of that I hope everyone's been having a pretty good day here so far. Let me know how it is down below. My day has uh, been uh, pretty good so far. Oh yeah, this should slide right down, right there. And look at that perfect placement, I will have to say. Did a little bit of moving on the trailer, but that was uh, perfect. Otherwise, we would have to have the uh, police officer move there. But we'll get attached. Definitely want to get attached before we disconnect. That way it doesn't roll right into his truck and uh, down the street there. But let's see if this slides right up and over. Oh yeah, scraping the deck. Hopefully we don't put any big uh, damage marks in it. But we are getting it up a little slow, but we're getting it up on the rollback which is perfect wow look at that damage looks like he'll need a whole new uh, kind of left uh, uh, suspension here for it which is no problem we'll put that winch line and we should be able to roll the deck right up and on now with the heavy rescue series I am trying to feature a few wrecks in every video I think that's the way to go one small uh, uh, a few small or one big wreck at the end I think that's kind of a fun thing and you guys seem to really be uh, enjoying that as well and perfect we got it all strapped down and uh, let me just let them know right sir you can pick it up later today and we should have the uh, new axle and tire put on and you're good to clear the road Awesome, so we're all ready to go here. I'm not sure exactly what's happening there, but I will have to say big shout out goes out to Wood Metal Farming for releasing uh, this tow truck pack. He actually updated it and added in this F550, and I really do like this truck. It's such a cool, smaller uh, rollback, and I will say rollbacks are a big part of the towing business uh, for lower sport cars and just cars in general since uh, more and more of them are four-wheel drive. And I hope everyone's been having a pretty good summer so far. Mine's been pretty busy. I've been doing a lot of work here for the channel behind the scenes. And I can't wait for a few of the big surprises that are coming hopefully soon. I'm just getting closer and closer to uh, revealing them as uh, we uh, kind of continue on these weeks. But let's get this unloaded. And we have a new call coming over the radio. It looks to be a RV and a boat rollover caused by a sports car racing on the interstate. This will definitely be an interesting one. A first for us. Us, and I detached it there so this should kind of slide right off uh, the back here so let's see oh yeah just sliding right off I'm just helping it making sure it's going straight and perfect now it looks like a few people were taken to the hospital hopefully their injuries are not too bad but the goal right now is to get the road open as soon as possible and it is an interstate uh, so traffic will be backed up for quite a few miles 
Although I really do enjoy uh, going to these uh, big wrecks here, there's quite a lot of expenses uh, that do get damaged as well, uh, like this RV and it sounds like a boat. But definitely going to have to use this, and I did dispatch the Mac Anthem along with the Western Star Rotator. Now in all of my videos, I'm trying to be as detailed as possible, as realistic as possible, and you guys will see uh, some of that as uh, we kind of go through today. But it looks like we are coming up here on it, we'll get slowed down, and look at that, it looks like they have cones out and everything. The uh, police, the state troopers today are very uh, concerned, wow, it looks like the entire road is uh, kind of closed, and look at that guys in front of us, just looking at it, here, that is a pretty bad one, here looks like the RV and the uh, boat is completely rolled over. Wow, this looks to be a hundred, hundred fifty thousand dollar boat looks to be total. Look at that! This looks to be a Dodge Hellcat. Oh, that is the reason. 700 horsepower uh, to the rear uh, wheels and you just lose control and wow, look at that. And this looks to be a pretty new RV. Oh yeah, that is. Wow, this is utter uh, disaster. Hopefully uh, we could get uh, this cleared up. So what I'm thinking, we'll use a rollback and get this uh, Hellcat uh, removed and then we'll get the uh, big uh, wreckers in there to get going on the removal of that but uh, rolling those over will be a bit tricky and they actually have the uh, lane closed down all the way down there at the uh, off ramp so we have the entire interstate all four lanes are closed and uh, this is pretty bad some of the crashes we've gone to are bad, but I think this one has to just top it uh, for the worst I've ever seen. We have a Hellcat pretty much totaled, uh, destroyed, and uh, very lucky everyone had somewhat uh, okay injuries at the best and was able to pretty much walk away. But wow, this was a pretty bad one here. Getting right to work because we got to get it open as soon as we can. Let's continue winching the Challenger here up on the trailer. Now it looks like the RV in the boat is almost kind of wanting to come over, which is a good thing. Hopefully it's not too big of a challenge here for us, but this is a first here. All four lanes are closed here, and we have multiple heavy wreckers ready to go here, and that looks to be good. Wow, this car is completely totaled, and the uh, insurance will have to do their job there, but wow, this is a pretty bad one. Now, if you do have any cool ideas here for the Heavy Rescue series, please let me know. I really do enjoy this series. It's quite a lot of fun uh, to respond to these types of calls here, and I definitely want to do more in the future, and I need the no-collision camera. That's definitely something I need, but for now, let's move the 550 just out over here to the side, and I think we'll hop in the rotator. I think we'll have to use rotator first on the, the uh, RV. We'll get it all set up, but we'll have to do dual winches at the same time is really the only way we'll be able to get this rolled over. If you guys have not already, I do recommend you go give me a follow over on Instagram. I am posting every single day over there uh, some sneak peeks and cool updates about the channel, along with just awesome pictures. And I just really do enjoy interacting with you guys on all the different social medias here. But this looks to be good. We'll get the arm rotated around, and oh yeah, this will be perfect. And we do also have to kind of tow these away. So let's get the winch going on this one, and let's go find a place to grab a hold of it. And I think we'll grab a hold of it on this wood here. Now, sometimes it is tricky uh, to get it attached to things, and other times it's not. But today, I did kind of do a little bit of preparation to help us out there. But while the anthem starts up, let's get to that tow bar lowered down. Now this Anthem, we pretty much have to pull a U-turn here for the boat, and I will say this is probably two, three hundred thousand dollars worth of damage between the RV, the boat, and the Hellcat here. Very expensive toys uh, got destroyed, so it looks like camping trip is cancelled. Now we do pretty much want a direct pull here on this boat, so let's see what we can do a little bit further this way, and I have to say, we definitely need some better brakes here on all of these heavy wreckers. I'm not sure, maybe it's the mass uh, that kind of has it a uh, little bit harder to get uh, stopped there, but we'll raise this up. We should be good to go, and let's put a winch line on it. We'll get that winch line going here first time, really rolling one over, and I see a nice grab point there. Perfect, so we got that winch line on. We should be good to go uh, for rolling this uh, disaster of a camping trip. So let's hop back here and let's get these winches going. And this will be a first here for us. Let's see, dual winches. I got both remotes with me. Let's see what's going to happen. Winching, winching. And let's see, I'm not sure what's going to happen, but 
Oh, here it goes. Both winches are grabbing, and I think we'll uh, be able to roll it over any moment now. Oh, yeah, the boat's coming as well. And I think we'll uh, keep the rotator. The rotator is up in the air there for a second. And let's see what we can do on this side. And the boat's coming over here. I think this will uh, kind of help finish uh, the rollover. And there we go, guys. We got it all rolled over here. Bit tricky. And it actually kind of looks like uh, it's kind of stuck in the ground over there. But uh, we pretty much got it rolled over. There we go. After three, four uh, pulls there with the winch, it is completely rolled over. That is a good sight to see. Wow. This is just overall pretty bad crash. One of the worst that I've seen here in quite a long time. So what I want to do is I really want to uh, get uh, this detached. I think we'll put the anthem on this and then the rotator on this and then we'll call it a day wow that was a pretty bad one one of the worst i've seen uh, for rollovers and uh, definitely someone's day is uh, not going to be the same after this but let's get that detached and a little tricky climbing up here and we got the detached there we'll get uh, the truck and trailer detached here and we should be able to just muscle this out let's see oh yeah we're we're able to do that perfect and let's get a hold of this. So sometimes it is tricky uh, using these winches, but uh, this uh, piece of wood did a pretty good job. Awesome. So I think uh, we should be good to go to fold this rotator back down here and grab a hold of it. I'm getting the rotator turned around here. It was a bit tricky. Pretty much a 10 point turn. It's such a big truck. Let's get the uh, tow bar lowered down here. We just got to get the lane open. Even one lane is what we really need to do here. We'll get the tow bar lowered down here. I think we'll probably put uh, just kind of a quick uh, chain or two just to get uh, these lanes opened here. But I will have to say a very hard uh, rescue for this one. And overall it's going to be a busy day as well. But here we go. And looks like we do need to get a little bit further in the center area. Now I do have lots more cool videos coming this week. Definitely some uh, landscaping, maybe another landscaping, but also tree services and a few others along with the homeowner series. Now let's get this lifted all the way up. And that kind of seems to be lifted all the way up. So let's see. Perfect. So we got that all set up there. Let's hop back in the Anthem and get attached to the trailer. Now it seems like the boat is completely totaled here, lots of damage too, but on the uh, bright side we could probably just tow it home on the same trailer, that way we don't have to call in a low boy, but definitely want to do some videos where we have to call in the low boy to transport it out. Maneuvering these big heavy wreckers is always a challenge, especially on uh, roads like this, but luckily we have all four lanes to help us out and not just uh, trying to maintain one lane, and let's get attached here. Always attaching is always a little tricky, but there we go, guys. We got everything ready to go to get hauled back to the shop. Hope you guys enjoyed today's heavy rescue video, helping out uh, with the broken axle and then an RV rollover. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one, and subscribe for more.